welcome to another vlog. It's been a minute. We are getting ready for bed and I thought I would apply my self tanner for overnight because this is not like an express tan like I normally use. So I have seen everyone talking about this. So I finally bought it. Um, it's time. Self tanner review. And I was gonna put it on and I'm like, I should show them because I am completely in love with the Saint Tropez, the express tan that you can leave it on for up to three hours, then rinse it off, then it develops, and it's just like so easy. But I recently just ran out, so when I was in the market for a new self tanner, I'm like, I want to try something different. I've tried Loving Tan, which is good, but like I feel like lately all the hype. It's around Bondi Sands. I will say the price point is awesome. It's definitely like a lot more um, affordable than other ones. So it's actually like a really big tube as well. I can't remember how much this was. I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's supposed to smell like coconut. We love that. I got it in dark. Oh, and I also got this. But look how cool this is. To be totally honest, uh, Yar usually does my back when I self tan. Oh, but this was just so cool. This is a self-tanning back applicator. <laughs> also from Bondi Sands. <gasps> Whoa. Well, that's pretty fire. And it's got, uh, oh, two different <laughs> applicators. One spongy. This one feels like a tanning mitt. <gasps> this, and it even comes with replacements. This is so cool. All right, time to review. All right, we got my old Loving Tan tanning mitt. I'm also like nervous because I really do prefer like the self tanner I can rinse off after a couple hours. Like I don't love sleeping overnight in self tanner, but like you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so I wanna go ahead and test like the immediate color payoff and also the scent oh pretty nice so right off the bat it's a really nice olivey color and it really does like smell it smells so good so first impressions wise i'm liking it let me just like apply this and i'll be back also, put lotions on your ankles, your knees, your wrists, your hands, and thank me later. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my self-tanner everywhere except for my back and my face. <laughs> I am gonna try this. I mean, guys, it's honestly <laughs> hard to do, but like genius. <laughs> like it's gonna take me a minute to figure out how to maneuver it properly, but great invention. Good morning. So I just took a shower. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. <laughs> like it's such a pretty color. It still looks very natural. And on my face, I did do my usual um, tan lux face drops. Just to kind of give me a little tan on the face. But overall, I think this is so beautiful and it smells really good. And I did have to go over a couple spots. Like, you know when you like splash water on your tan right after and it like leaves a watermark and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta fix this. And I had to go over it with like my uh, tanning mitt. And I thought maybe it would get like chunky in those areas and it didn't. Like it's a very well blended out tan. That makes me really happy. I get the hype. I get the hype. Such a pretty color, it's so pretty, oh yay. All right, cool, I would recommend. 